The Portage Cuyahoga River segment begins at Middlebury Road and the river and is built in the middle of the Pennsylvania and Ohio Canal. A rail spur was constructed after the canal was drained and provides a level route that offers outstanding views of wetlands and opportunities to interact with nature. The trail passes over the Plum Creek Aqueduct. The beautiful architecture of this cut sandstone culvert is just a few steps off the trail and remains an engineering marvel as each stone is keyed in place. The new 220-foot long bridge offers a unique view of the river. The prefabricated bridge came in three pieces, was lifted in place, and then bolted together to enable the trail to cross the river. In order to keep the trail along the river corridor, a 680-foot boardwalk was constructed out over the river to bypass the Kent Water Reclamation Facility. The trail continues into Fred Fuller Park, where the next phase will be constructed to John Brown Tannery Park and downtown Kent. I talk to CEOs all the time here in Kent, people that want to do more in Kent, and the challenge that they see more than anything else is what do we offer those folks to come to our community? And again, guess what's at the top of the list? Trails, trail systems, how are you connected? We have a, a legacy in Kent as being a community that cares about the outdoors. We, we have this environmental consciousness. We're eco-friendly. There's an activity level that's associated with trails, whether it's walking, hiking, biking, things that fit really well with what Ken is all about. So from our perspective, this is the perfect match of the economic side or the cultural side of our community. River Edge Park follows the river through downtown Kent, passing remnants of the mills that harness the power of the river. The exposed bedrock creates whitewater conditions that have become popular with kayakers. Our trails were developed to provide easy access for everyone. The first phase of River Edge Park began in the 1970s. It follows the Cuyahoga under Haymaker Parkway to the Heritage Park area with its cascading waterfall and numerous interpretive panels. Along the way, you'll find observation decks, gazebos, and picnic tables to add to your enjoyment. And what we did was to essentially carve out a ledge that we then used um, chips and railroad ties to shore it up. Um, and it lasted for quite a long time. It was a very simple walking trail. Just a few steps below our city street is a whole other world. This serene river corridor with its riverbank forest is a dynamic nature preserve. You'll find towering trees, lush undergrowth, wildflowers, ducks, herons, and other birds. The trail continues under the Main Street Bridge to the Brady's Leap area, where the quarried sandstone appears like a river canyon. The legendary Captain Brady made his leap across the Cuyahoga in 1780. The Portage Crane Avenue segment opened in November of 2008. Starting at the Crane Avenue Bridge, it runs above the river and follows the former Conrail Railroad for 1.3 miles until it connects with a Portage Park District Trail that takes you all the way to Towner's Woods and on to Ravenna. The trail passes through the Erie Railroad Yard that played a vital role in rail history in Kent. The concrete water tower is visible that provided water for steam locomotives and housed over 20 sets of tracks. Also evident is the outline of the Locomotive Repair Roundhouse. Perhaps the most impressive sight along the way is Standing Rock, held sacred by the early Indians and best viewed during seasons when foliage is sparse. As you walk along, you can also see the old towpath of the P&O Canal, along with a wide variety of wildlife and wildflowers. The gray birch, a rare tree species, flourishes in this area. We call them hike and bike trails, but they're really a lot more than that. Whether you're young or old or somewhere in between, there's something for you to do on the trails. Uh, whether it's jogging or rollerblading in the summer or uh, going for a hike or a bike ride with your family, uh, there's something for you to do on the Portage Hike and Bike Trail. And maybe the best thing of all is just a few steps from the city streets 
you can get out on the trail and escape the pressures of life and enjoy the natural beauty of the Kent area. As proud as we are of our city trails, we still consider them a work in progress. Kent Parks and Recreation is proud to be stewards of this path that benefits the health of the community, benefits the local economy, benefits the riparian corridor, and improves the quality of life in Kent. We hope you enjoy this journey through time and history and nature. It's your turn now to hit the trail.